Hello my friend, I'm John Silva. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how we can handle with symmetrical objects. So if you want to create flowers, think that has symmetry well watch this video until the final because i will explain to you everything that you must know today let's get started i just like to let you know that affinity don't have symmetry features for vector at this moment but what i'm gonna show you are tricks that it can help you a lot to develop this result that i'll show you so as you see we have this flower that has sides and what I want to do it is to create this in symbol. And let me explain how this will work. First of all, let me decrease this, the opacity and I'll lock this layer. And guys, I will add here a ellipse tool, just like that. And then I'm gonna make this in white. And then what I'll do it is to add, it can be this, this tool here, the tier tool, this one, I'll add onto here. And of course, I need to rotate this onto more or less here i'll press a because i can basically change this shape properties as you can see and then i'm gonna make this something like that i'll bring this below and then we're gonna have this result for now now we have these two shapes and what you need to do is this first of all you need to enable this option that's called enable transform orange what this will do it is basically you can enable this option and make this node that it is right here very in the middle of the circle like this one so make sure to apply this in align it all right in order to have this in the better result and then if you start to rotate your your design you see that affinity will apply this so the pivot point is going to rotate in the area that you place it after that you need to apply this shape the gray one a symbol now you need to go to window activity symbol and now you can create right here the symbol after that you need to make sure that you pose the symbol here the pivot point into the middle because what i want to do it is to duplicate this selection and then i will move this onto here one time release the mouse and then duplicate by using shortcuts like this and what's important you know that you understand about this is that if i apply now the fill tool it's going to apply to everything here this happened because of the symbol that I'm using, all right? The symbol it is applying to others. So we are using just one shape that represents everything at the same time. And now what's going to be important in that case that we're going to convert this to, sh to curves and then I can change the shape and have different kinds of results. So if you do this, you're going to have this result. This is very nice because you can have a kind of symmetry happening and then you can change the way that you want. In that case, I want to make this can be pink and this one I will change to something like this. Also, I can move this into here and also this one more or less like that. So as you can see, by doing that, you can have this uh, symmetry result, of course, here I will change to elliptical and perhaps changes to yellow this area to something more orange something like this and have this nice result as well remember always if you want to add more details to your design for example here I could in that case insert here vector brush all right I'm going to enable here the vector brush if you want to download my vector brushes feel free I'll leave the link available to you on the description below and then I'm going to use this one right here and I will insert inside I will increase the brush and then I will just draw here and after that I will change here this brush stroke to something like that and then I can change here to different type of textures and now I'm gonna use the transparency tool in order to have this subtle result I'm going to decrease a little bit like that and then I will add a bit of shading here in the corners of the shape I'm gonna use here the ultimate master vector brushes and then I'll make this a bit dark and then I will start to add a little shading over here because then we can add a bit more realism to our flower just like that it's not like this as you see you can add very nice result 
And of course, if you want to create more flowers just like that, feel free because you need to enable the symbol tool for all flowers that you want. Let's say you want to duplicate this. Keep in mind that if you duplicate and change one of this one, it's going to change others, it's going to affect others as well. And what you need to do to avoid to make this happen is to select all the symbols that it is from this one and then you need to detach these symbols i'll click here detach and now if you change all right it's gonna not apply to everything else but of course uh what you need to do it is to delete the shapes and then you start from beginning click here to create a new symbol now have a new one you can give even a name to it let's call this as flower line 2 i will duplicate this until here and duplicate multiple times and have this result and then look at this i can change this color to a different color and it's gonna only apply to this shape that you see right now so i'm gonna make something like this and then i'm gonna have this incredible result i really hope that you found this tutorial very useful for your skills and please leave the like if you enjoy and also if you want to learn much more than this tutorial that i do here you can join on the vectorized clip and also get my new courses that i will leave on a video here on the description below and that's it for now if you want to keep watching more contents like this i will leave here the next video available to you all right so thank you so much and see you soon bye bye